Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. You like the microphone? We're gonna watch The Nightmare Before Christmas. I'd say it's time you begun. You ready for book school? You just love the camera? We have to leave Miguel here, okay? There you go. You sit and wait for you. Uh, been to our favorite breakfast place in town. Your vlog hasn't seen me so pregnant in a like, I know. Christina's due in like a day and a half. No. Soon. Christina just said, we told my mom we wouldn't have any fun today. And this looks like a lot of fun. Christina's at work. You got toast? Check it out, check it out, it's mail time again. Oh. My. Word. Look at these adorable onesies. Thank you so much, John and Caitlin. These are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. This is, I love the style and I love that saying. So true. That's our baby. Definitely true. Definitely adorable. Oh my gosh, thank you. Look at this little coop card. Oh, and look at these decorative pieces from our good friends, Carmelo, M Maria, and Rosa. Thank you so much. But I'm done with work for the weekend. And it's Friday, and if you've been following along, you know what that means. Today, right now, I'm about to go on my first time trip to Bush Gardens, first of all. First Bush Garden trip ever. But it's also Hollow Scream, so my buddy Sean's gonna meet me out. He's actually been out there all day, so I'm gonna go hit I-4. Hopefully traffic's not too bad. It should be about an hour and 20 minute drive. Hopefully not too much more of the traffic, but I'll get there. It's gonna be fun. When I first left the P.O. box, I said it was an hour and 45 minutes. I think it was more like an hour and 20, so still a bit of a drive with traffic, but not bad. But I forgot to show you guys. I got my Chicago 2019 edition glitter glasses themed after the marathon, even though I'm not running it this year. When I saw them, I had to get them. So I'm here. The parking thing a lot is weird. I don't know. We'll see how this whole thing goes. I think it's gonna be a good time, but just different. And there's a tram here. I'm gonna try to get on it before I miss it. Oh, check this out. They got all the, there's six houses and nine scare zones. So excited. Check it out, I'm official. Hollow Scream Bush Gardens. I think there's a photo, ooh, skulls, creepy. Um, I forget this is like part of the family suite of SeaWorld. I have to find my friends. I'm quite literally lost. I messaged my friends on Facebook, but I not only have no idea where they are, I have no idea where to go. This is like a weird mixture of like SeaWorld, Lincoln Park, the Lincoln Park Zoo. I don't know what's going on. Ooh, I found turtles and big old alligators. Look at those big guys and girls. Um, Hollow Scream merch. Dawn of the Dead. I love Dawn of the Dead. This stuff is spooky. Ooh, 20 years. So this year's the 20th anniversary of Hollow Scream. Pretty cool. I'm excited. Um, I just want the, the sun to set. It's weird to me that there's more scare zones than houses. All right, I got a map. They, they messaged me back. So now I just gotta find them. I think they're over there. They're by some weird clown thing near Falcon's Fury. But I'm walking around like a newfangled theme park guest because I literally have never been in this park ever before. Um, this park is so oddly shaped. This is cool. Here's like a train. I didn't realize, I thought there'd be like, I thought you could see those black spots in between the walking ways, I thought you could see it. No, there's just like really long stretches of like land. I don't know, it's cool, but wait, I think I see some Bantabak or something over there. Oh. Okay, these animals cannot be out during the spooky spooky. What are they gonna do? I 
there's never just not gonna be a lot of people here. And it's gonna make it even spook. I see an elephant. I did not realize they had like animals here. That is an elephant. Hold on, I might be able to get closer. There's the elephant. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I see him. I see him right over there. There they are. There they are. Oh! Hello. I made it. You made it. I'm in Bush Garden. We're gonna do the residence. What's that? First house. <laughs> oh, right now? Scary. Are they open yet? No, but we're trying to keep. Okay. Six houses, nine scare zones. We got Sean and Jason. Say hello. <laughs> We're getting in line for the first house. Apparently, Sean was telling me it's an original house because it's the 20th anniversary. And the queue's already got a little bit long. It's not even opening up for 25 minutes, but scare zone scare actors are walking we'll around. We'll in. Including a bloody teddy bear. Apparently there's a whole scare zone about creepy toys. Look how scary that is. Free hugs. Okay, so these houses, if they're all like that, they were so scared because they were not Halloween Horror Nights and all the houses are narrow and very quick. That was so like wide and open and scary and freaky and not like, they were, like it was like cheesily done but cheesy enough that was like, like that's more reminiscent to like some, some Chicago suburb haunted houses. That was scary, and it was long, and they had all different kinds of scares. People jumping off underneath tables, people ripping walls down. What did you think? That was brilliant. Brilliant. That was so scary. So good. So long too. Yeah, and it, much darker. Yeah. As well, which was good. What did you think, Jason? Oh, that was intense. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it was I a like a warehouse thing. <laughs> Look at my sugar Oh, what is that? What are you doing? Oh. Spooky, sp spooky, spooky. That's freaky. <laughs> ah! <laughs> what is that? That's a person. These scare zones are massive. I just keep leaving Jason and Sean. Boys and girls of every age, would you like to see something strange? Whoa, baby. All right, we're about to do the one ride I wanted to do while we're here. The brand new Tigress. Well, I want to do Secra too, but super excited. Just so you're aware, you do some crazy loops on this thing. Look at that. I'm sweating from that ride. It feels like such a big, long ride, but it's literally just two inverted loops that it keeps going back, backwards and forwards for anybody Six Flags Great America. It's kind of like a Deja Vu, um, was it M2? What's the other one? So Deja Vu is the one like corkscrews. The other one just goes up and back. Oh, we're going to the second house, the black spot. It's the evil pirate one. Look how creepy and cool that is. I dig that, but I, oh wait, I don't want, I want to be in the middle. Okay, get that pirate ride, the pirate house was the most scared I've been in a haunted house. This whole season, that beat everything at HHN for scares. Jason and I got scared at the end when we thought we were safe, it was terrifying. But now we're going on Shikra, so it's actually the second ride, you know, the two, it's the second of the two rides I really want to go on here, because I heard really good reviews of Shikra. Um, I really, I really take Tim and Jen Tracker's theme park ride or his roller coaster reviews to heart, and they, I think I know Jen loves this one, so I can't wait. This is such a weird load mechanism and ride mechanism. There's so many seats across. Little nightmares. Little nightmares. Little nightmares? Oh, there's a little nightmare right there. All right, we did Shikra twice in a row. It's an amazing ride. Went through a scare zone. We all got. The lives jumped out of us, and now we're going in 
Motel Shelburne infestation. Motel Shelby. These houses just keep getting better and better. They have like fake spider webs everywhere. Now we're going to another scare zone, meat market. Oh, the houses keep getting scarier and scarier. Hey, little oh. thingy. Bush Gardens meat market. So creepy. Oh God! <laughs> I grow it, I process it, I eat it. Ah, I'll break you up. Alright, after a little break, we're back at it. Zombies. Here we go. Four houses down, two more to go. What's the cool chair zone? I like it. Los de los Muertos. Oh, Mr. Bones. That's super cool. Hey. All right, we switched it up. We're actually doing insomnia first because it was like a five, six minute wait rather than the 45 minutes for Death Water Bayou, so this will be house number five of six tonight. All right, Insomnia was probably my favorite in like overall a continuous scaring and a lot of fun. And the, the theming was my favorite so far because what it was that you were walking through a sleep, a sleep institute where the treatments were actually torturing the patients by causing them sleep depri deprivation, so they were getting revenge. So you'd go through rooms where the sick and twisted patients would scare you, but then you'd walk through the room, which would be like their demented nightmares coming to life. Oh, I think that one, that one might take spot number one for me. Then Dark dark Mark, the pirate one. Five out of six, we just got one more and two scare zones. This is a fun scare zone. Vampires, I think is what the deal is. Fun photo op. Victims. Vampire. Oh no! Death Water Bayou. Very last house of the night. Very last. Spooky, spooky house. This is a cool projections. On the building. What? Alright, we're heading out. It's too hard to sign off in the dark. So I'll sign off later, but Sean and Jason are over there. Oh, spiders. We will see them tomorrow as well. So we're having a get together at their house that they rented. Time to go home to Eve. Ooh, today's the fourth. It's a short and sweet one by Ray Bradbury. Life is trying things to see if they work. When did you say so, Eve? She's so good. She's super pumped right now because she had such a long and lonely day. Oh, nice. But I left her at like 7.30 this morning. I didn't get back till about 12.15 at night. So she had a long day. But we're going to play a little bit. And then we're going to go to bed. Thank you. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I dropped it. Here, I'll hold it for you. Good girly. All right. Um, thanks for following along today. It was really fun going to Bush Gardens for the first time. Really happy we got to go on those roller coasters. Really happy we got all the houses done. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Sean. You guys are awesome. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Sarah, I love you. I miss you very much. So does Eve. And uh, we can't wait to see you in just a few more days. It's good to be home. Alrighty, so it's totally the next day for me. I spent the evening at my aunt's house doing some stuff for my sister's shower. I could put in a little clip here. And then I came home, talked with my mom, and I was so tired. I just fell asleep so I'm sorry I didn't get a real sign off um I know Peter had so much fun it was so much fun editing his hollow scream footage so just wanted to quick <laughs> pop in and just say I didn't totally disappear into thin air it's good to be home we know what our goals are we know what we hope to accomplish and believe me it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions <laughs>